Hey guys, this is Chase from Burnout Inc. And today we're going to do another WWE 13 video. This time we are making The Crow. Uh, this one is based off of Brandon Lee's portrayal of The Crow, which is, you know, the most famous one so far. And to me, it's the best one so far. So we're going to dig right into it. I'm going to start off with skin. Texture, just do number one. And make those colors there. Uh, you can age him if you want to. His hair is number 51 of 86. You want to make it pretty much almost jet black. And then I didn't mess with the length on it. Eyes basically just do number one and then uh, make them brown. Uh, just do number one and then make them brown. Uh, teeth I don't think I touched on, but we'll dig. We'll get right into the shape of his face and his head. And again, pause this where you need to. Okay, makeup and stuff we're going to get into a little bit later. Height, I made him 6'1", so he could be a light heavyweight, but still pretty tall. Size, keep him at number 1. And then the shape right here, or shape of his body, just go ahead and pause this wherever you need to. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get into the rest of the character. Alright, so face paint. Do number 37 of 84. Just match it up right there. And then what's nice about the Create a Superstar stuff is that they basically already have the Crow uh, face paint made in here. So you're going to do 58 of 84. Just match it up there. And then do 47 of 84. And then just go into your history and match up the same color. Trunks don't got to worry about. Uh, the hands right here. Um, basically it's that like electrical tape or whatever that stuff is that um, he wraps his, his forearms and his wrists and his fingers around that you saw in the movie. Um, instead of just going through and making all that stuff, I just chose to do uh, number 21 of 32 in the hands. And then both colors, just go through them and make them black. It's nice that the reflective too is that you can really see it when it's coming off of the shirt. Okay. Now unfortunately, if I remember right, let me check this. Um, 
I, yeah, I was going to say, if I remember right, I don't think the top allowed you to put the, um, I, I think the sleeves were, um, they would go over the, over the gloves. So in order to get it to where, you know, the sleeves are blacked out the way they are, you're going to actually want to go into arms and wrists, choose number 23 of 30, and then you're going to make them black. And then basically, you're going to go into uh, the t-shirt right here. 8 of 50. And then basically what you do is you actually you shorten the sleeves so that it goes above uh, the tape around his arms. That way they're perfectly shown off as they are right there. Okay, well, let's go back up real quick. Hmm. Arms and wrists. I'm not going to lie, I actually do not remember what I made these patterns for. Well, I know I made them for, um, for the tape stuff that's wrapped around his waist and whatnot, but yeah, I really don't remember what these were for. Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, they're they're gone. So it doesn't matter. Uh, basically, yeah. If you if you make these a little bit later when I get to it, you can use them. But um, I don't think they're necessary. I actually can't see them, and I don't really even remember what I made them for. So we'll just skip that altogether. Uh, okay. Next thing, you're gonna go into the bottoms. You're gonna do 25 of 48. First color, just make it black. Um, not as black as the other things because you do want to see some of the texture in the pants. And then for like the buttons and stuff, I made them silver. Oh yeah, okay. I forgot about that. Um, when you're in the when you're in the bottoms, you need to go into the logo, into the logos, and you need to go into alphabet and you need to find um, the period symbol and you need to make those silver and make three of them and have them go underneath to where kind of the zipper is because he's got like those um, leather rock star pants where he's got a bunch of like you know buttons and stuff on it so just to make it accurate you want to go into there and make those uh, the boots are number 40 of 50 you can leave them the same but um, I made I tinted them a little bit I made them black just a little Okay, yeah, so now we're getting into the tops. Do number 8 of 50. Do the second choice so it's skin tight against him. And again, um, make the length uh, 69 or 68 or whatever just so that they're not covering up the, the tape. Go into color, make it black. Alright, now when you get into the logos, this is what you want to do. You want to go into number 23, or sorry, 23, sorry. You want to do number 135, and you want to stretch it out. You can also do uh, number 111. I just chose to do 135 on this. And basically, I know it's really hard to see, but the lower area of his abs, or basically his entire ab area, you want to take it and stretch it out, make it jet black, because this is that tape stuff that he has wrapped around his shirt. So you can do that twice. You then want to go into number 105. And you're going to do this twice as well. And you want to make it really, really skinny. And you want to stretch it out. See how it is right there? Uh, it's because he's got like this weird kind of silver X thing on here. Like a, a lot of the photos I've seen of the crow. Um, especially like a like you know like the NECA action figures and stuff like that. There's like a there's like this weird like slash or gash or something in it, and it's like a silvery almost almost a flesh tone color type thing. So yeah, just go in there, there um, make it as skinny as possible, and then stretch it out, turn it diagonally for each side, and then just kind of make a an off center X with it. 
but then uh, match it up to these colors here, okay? So you're going to do that twice and then just rotate the other side. And again, um, what these things are right here was these were just the, the texture of the tape. And I made them a little bit longer. 